a 10-round heavyweight bout from Pretoria Stadium, Pretoria, South Africa, between Kala Knutsi of South Africa on the left and Denton Riddick of Great Britain on the right. The playing of the national anthem, and these two men are trying to psych each other out. They've been staring at each other, and this is the second of two anthems, and all they've done is stare, stare, stare. Here in America, we first became aware of Kelly Knutz's prowess when he knocked out Dwayne Bobbitt earlier this year. This ground. Ruddick on the right, Knutz on the left. Ruddick from Camberwell, England, the third-ranked British heavyweight. Knutz from South Africa. He is ranked sixth in the world by the WBA, seventh in 24 years old, Ruddick 26. Round one, scheduled for 10 rounds. I'm Don Dunphy with Floyd Patterson, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Kanetsa is much the bigger of the two. He's in the red trunks. He weighs 217 and a half pounds, and his opponent, Denton Ruddick, 192 and three quarters, a margin of 24 and three quarter pounds for Kanetsa. Knutz has had 20 fights, he's won 18 and lost two, both decisions. One of them to the unbeaten Jerry Coetzee of South Africa. Ruddick is 26 years old, he's had 12 fights, winning 10, losing two. He was stopped once on a TKO, he has knocked out eight men. Ruddick has never been off his feet in a bow. The feeling out process here in round one, Knutz tries that long right hand, just a, a, a feeling out punch as it was. And we see that Ruddick has a pretty good jab, Floyd. Well, he hasn't shown much else but the left jab. He hasn't thrown anything but the left jab. I'd like to wait and see what else he has outside of that. He's quick on his feet. Knutz is apparently a very good punch, as we see from his record. He has knocked out 15 in his 18 wins. Keeps his hands well up in front of his face, which Floyd Patterson has always advocated. Scored by Knutzer. Floyd, he's got a tremendously fast, hard right hand. That's a very sneaky right hand, Don. In fact, it's somewhat of an overhand right. The referee is Chris Dula, who keeps circling the battlers, keeping well up. Less than a minute to go here in round one. It is scheduled for ten. It almost ended in the first round. But apparently, Ruddick takes a very good punch. He's a little more cautious now as he pecks out with that left hand. Knutza, who knows he can hurt his man with that one big punch, is trying to get it in again. He's also got a fair left jab. Crowding his man towards the ropes. A little over-anxious is Knutza. Ruddick has done very little since he was almost floored by that right-hand punch. Half-hearted -hand, half right hand by Ruddick, but it doesn't land. He pecks away with the jab. Now he's being cornered on the ropes. He'd better get out of there. Another right high on his head rocks him again. He's still never been knocked down in a fight. Knutz is trying to end it with one punch, either the right or the left. He is not throwing combinations. The round is almost over. There's the bell. It's going to go, knowing how well that Knutz can punch. Ruddick has done very little so far, except defend himself. He's landed a few jabs and maybe a short right hand, and that's just about all. Ruddick is not fighting with the same confidence he was fighting in the earlier rounds, rather than the first round. Naturally not, Floyd, after he was almost knocked out in round one. Now he's fighting back a little bit more. His jab is not getting in there, although he scored with a good right, but he was countered well by Knutze who apparently is a very good boxer, besides being a hard puncher. Floyd, I think that Knutza throws a, shows a good defense, too. Uh, yes, he does. He keeps his hands high. Uh, there's one thing, he's not a combination puncher. He throws them one at a time. And it looks to me like he can hit with either hand. Ruddick in the white trunks backing towards the ropes with Knutza pursuing him unrelentingly. Oh, 
So far, I think Knutz has been a little bit over anxious in this round, and Ruddock has been an overly cautious. Ruddock is fighting a very, very cautious fight. That could have ended it had it landed. We do know that Ruddock takes a good punch because he's never been floored. this one that he's been in. But a minute to go on the round. Ruddick has shown very little from an offensive standpoint. He's hardly landed a good punch. Now he got a couple of jabs and he's got a sharp jab. Knutz are not quite as sharp as he was in the first round. However, Knutz is fighting with a lot more confidence. Now, Ruddick is showing signs of fighting back, although he, he still lets his opponent be the aggressor. That one could have ended. He took a good punch. They grazed. That one missed. On the inside, Ruddick seems to be hurt again. He goes in and holds on and is battered as Knutz shows he can show up, shorten his punches. Nuts over anxious seconds to go. There's the bell. What? Pretoria Stadium, Pretoria, South Africa, between Kelly Knutz of South Africa on the right and Denton Ruddock, the third ranked British heavyweight, wearing the white trunks. The referee is Chris Dula. Now Ruddock seems to open up with a combination. Putting too much force behind his punches, though. No, Don, if you watch his punches, you'll notice Braddock goes back for him punches. He doesn't move in, which is not backing his punches up. He doesn't get the same power that he ordinarily would get if he would move in with him. He's being jabbed now, which means that uh, Knutz is getting in on him quicker. Knutz is showing a, a fair jab at this point besides his heavy artillery. Knutz just blocks those jabs. They go into a clinch for a moment, and now they're out of it. Here's Knutza coming at him once again. Ruddick knows he's in trouble. He can't keep his man off. He's been hurt to the head and he's been hurt to the body. And this is round three. It is scheduled for 10. Knutza trying to get in that one big punch. Now he's got his man in trouble and uh, Ruddick dances out of there. Referee talks to uh, Ruddock for a moment. This round is half over. It's round three, scheduled for 10. And Knutza is starting to fire them almost at will. And he's coming in and nailing his man more often now. Ruddock seems to be in trouble. He's not getting away. He's slowing up. That hurt. Good follow-up. A good one, too, by Knutza. He's hurt his man. Ruddick's in trouble on the ropes. Solid punches by Knutza. And now Ruddick is down for the first time in his career. Ruddick is down. And the referee, Chris Dula, is counting over him. And I don't think he's going to be making it. He shook his head. No, it is all over. A knockout for Kala Knutza of South Africa. A knockout in two minutes and down. Floyd, how did it look to you? Well, all he's shown me so far is that he's a good puncher. Uh, he's not a boxer, he's more of a slugger type. As you're watching, he throws one punch at a time, he plots in. Uh, his only defense is he keeps his hands high. He doesn't bob and weave or even block that well. Those are big punches, though, aren't they, Floyd? Yes, I would say he's a very good puncher with either hand. And if you notice early in the fight, the shots to the belly, he hurt uh, rather quite a bit to the belly. For most Americans, this is the first opportunity to see Kelly Knutza, who knocked out Dwayne Bobbitt. Floyd, how would Knutza do against Americans like Ali, Spinks, Holmes? Well, I would say he would do very good against Americans with, with the similar type style. But I think you'd have a lot of trouble with a guy like uh, Holmes or Cassius Clay because they're boxers. They move, they bob and weave, they jab. 
Uh, and guys that come to slug, to come to fight, I think he would do very well with them. Well, it was a good fight for Kalakanutza, a winner by a knockout in the...